Hi guys, welcome back to another Q-based tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to talk about um, automation. It's going to be a technical uh, tutorial, so we won't deal with sounds and plugins, just with workflow. And I, th I'd like to show you some automation edit tricks I recently um, found out and. I'd like to share this with you. Okay, uh, let's jump right in. Um, automation in Cubase is quite straightforward. Um, I prepared a project for you. This is a, a vocal track and we will play some automation on it. So, how is it done? You open your fader and what you like what you want to do is you want this uh, fader to move automatically. So this is the basic principle of automation. For this purpose uh, we uh, press the right button and right means that uh, as soon as you uh, start the track uh, automation will take place and all fader moves are recorded. I'm performing this uh, automation in the so-called auto ledge mode. It's these modes uh, describe how the uh, automation writing process is punched out. And if you want to like more uh, know more about these modes, just uh, look on in into the manual. I'm not going to explain this in this tutorial. I'd like to show you other things. Okay. Let's start with moving the fader. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee und dass du hart bist. Keinen Schluss von dir. Okay, that was easy. Uh, the question now is what to do next? So we switch off the right mode because we want to play back the automation now. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee und dass du hart... You see, it works like magic. Now the first question is, uh, the first question is uh, where is the automation data? You can't see it and how can you change it? Um, the f first idea might be, okay, I'd like to change it. I start again, press right and override the automation. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee und dass du... Now the automation is overwritten, but we also want to see what's going on in the track and you can't see it here, so what to do? There is nothing. And I'd like to show you now several ways of how to show the automation data. The first way is to look here and... If you cross this point you see this arrow and then you uh, can see automation, show automation data, sorry it's in German. And here it is. This is our volume automation. And now you can also see what's happening. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee und dass du hart bist. And if you want to edit this data now, you just press right and now you can override it. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee. Okay, as easy as that. Now uh, we are uh, going to be a bit more sophisticated. Um, the first thing you might want to do is to change the volume, the overall vo volume of the track without destroying the automation data. Okay, the first idea you might have is just take the fader and move it. And here we are. Oh, no. It's always jumping back. So there's no way to uh, subsequently change your volume and you have to find other ways. 
Cubes won't just let you change the volume now. Of course, you can switch off the automation, but, but then uh, nothing is taking place anymore. Okay, what to do now? One way to do uh, this is um, using the trim mode. And there is a special automation menu. If you are pressing this very tiny triangle, then something r really helpful pops up. It's this um, automation dialog. And with this dialog, you can activate the trim mode. And the trim mode um, allows you to change the um, overall automation curve. Okay, when I first tried this feature, I said, hooray, let's move the fader and trim the track. But as you can see, nothing happens. So if you want to trim the track, you must, of course, enable the right mode. And now, nothing again. Just won't do. So, as you might suspect, the fader doesn't help now. Uh, what you have to do is you must start the track and then you can trim. Okay, I'm showing you this. Vergiss es nie, dass du lebst, war keine eigene Idee. So, what you see is uh, are actually two curves. It's the original automation curve, this here, and this is a trimming curve. And this is the uh, sum of those both curves. So you actually have recorded now two independent automation curves and you can now freeze these two curves uh, into one into, into the final curves using one of these functions. And now the you have got the final automation curves, which is uh, calculated by just adding the previous curves. But I wanted to achieve something more simple. I just wanted to uh, adjust the overall volume of the track. You can also do this with trim mode. And I do it uh, with just an edit point. So I click here. And now I can edit the overall volume just by moving this trim point. As you can see here, the overall volume changes. And this is one possibility to uh, uh, change the volume of the uh, overall track after automation. And as you can see here, the fader is moving. And now the automation is lower. Or higher and the automation is just kept the same and if you uh, if this is okay for you you just call this function and again this is your final automation curve all right so much for trimming there's also another way to uh, change the automation data afterwards you can also grab all these automation points no, oh, I've lost these. And then just grab one point, press control. And this is just another way to change the overall volume um, and um, to keep the automation data. All right, so much for automation and trimming. Um, and now I'm showing you something different. For this purpose, I delete the automation data. Uh, you can do it with this tool, for example. Functions, delete automation data of this track, and here it is, gone. All right. Um, often you like to make small adjustments uh, within the track. For example, um, you might want to do some vocal writing. 
and this means that, that you just uh, grab for example the peaks of the track and you um, level them by using automation and okay I'd like to do this now I said I just want to um, attenuate this peak a bit set one point and okay the the whole thing is moving so I need another point all right and okay now I atten attenuated this peak a bit but as you see I had to put uh, four points this is a bit complicated uh, to do it and I found out another way of doing it you activate the um, curve you can draw lines sine curves triangles and using a rectangle and with the rectangle you can achieve an mm, kind of automation editing like like you may be used in um, Pro Tools but you must be careful because now something really weird is going to happen um, I'm drawing the line and now I'm draw taking the volume tucking the volume low but oh it jumps high and if I increase the volume that's okay but if I decrease the volume okay now it's working again so uh, this is quite confusing um, you can get a more uh, predicta predictable behavior by not drawing the curves from left to right but from right to left now you can just select this peak draw the curve say okay go down here and it's done and now you can work very fast and you always get your um, four points and then get your and you get an, a rectangular kind of automation edits now maybe this bit down this a bit up now you can work very fast this a bit louder and so on okay this is all I wanted to show I hope I could show you something useful and goodbye and until next time